Don Knapp says it may be the biggest story to hit town since C&H built the sugar plant there. Biggest dang fish I ever did see. This is young Joe Pilata's day. All these people came here just to see his fish and share the glory. What if, let's see if he came to this side. Maybe we get more sun on your face. The big fish weighed in at 468 pounds and measured nine and a half feet from tip to tail. Bit pretty good and I hooked it and I played him for about five hours and finally got him to the boat and got him in. Yeah, it was a pretty, he was pretty tough. He was a pretty mean fish. When I seen that fish jump out of the water, boy, it's four times as big as me and I just wanted to stay out of the way. <laughs> I'd have loved to be there to see it, though. He said it came straight out of the water like a torpedo. Roxanne Andrews has been acting as public relations coordinator for the big event. She kept Joe going all night as they went from dock to dock until they found a scale big enough to handle the heavy fish and document its weight. Today, they're claiming the record. It's a record fish that they're going to give him, uh, you know, some prizes and stuff for it. He's going to get a lot from this one. It's going to be something else. I'm proud of him. <laughs> Roxanne's public relations efforts have a purpose. She wants everyone to know the big fish was caught from her husband's Crockett Sport Fishing Center boat. Fish may have lived out here at the bottom of the Carquinas Straits for 100 years. If they can keep it alive for a couple more days, it'll live in the Steinhardt Aquarium. In Crockett, Don Knapp, News Center 4. Well, the Steinhardt Aquarium people won't be able to go and look at that fish until tomorrow. It is a big fish indeed. And that is the latest tonight from the new...